Last time on Monica's full face of elf. Bro, maybe. Oh no! You see that? I just got a speck right up here because I was trying to. Let's let's zoom in here. Let's just take a look. Oh, this looks amazing. It has been officially two minutes since I applied both this e.l.f. makeup mist and set to my face along with the e.l.f. matte blotting mist, right? And this is what happened. And now, the thrilling continuation of Monica's full face of e.l.f. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today we're trying this again. <laughs> I'm going to be doing a full face with e.l.f. cosmetics. It took me a while to get back to this video. <laughs> that first e.l.f. video was a while ago, but um, it did, but, but I don't have any excuse for it. I got busy with other videos, and I honestly didn't really want to redo this one, but we're gonna do it. If you missed the, the previous full face of e.l.f. video and why it was cut short. I'll link that up in the cards if you'd like to watch that first, which I would highly recommend. But with that out of the way, let's just jump in. And I mean, it can't get any worse, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and just talk about like a pet peeve of mine right from the beginning when it comes to e.l.f. And that's that for the most part, they don't put the name on any of their products. <laughs> like this says nothing. There's a sticker on the bottom that says clear and then it has an item number. Now, if I go to their website and type in the item number, it comes up but it's kind of a pain in the butt like I would rather know like what this is I, actually so I had to look this up because I didn't know if this was a primer or not it is a primer <laughs> and I know that this is the acne fighting foundation because it's the only one that's worked for me but nowhere on here does it say acne fighting foundation only like their palettes actually have names on them like this says like the baked eyeshadow palette and their face palette says like the glow up face palette so i really wish like i'm sure that's probably a way like they cut down on cost but it's it's kind of really annoying so for the most part i might not know the exact name of everything that i use in this video since i will have to go and look up each individual number on their website but i will have everything listed down in the description box so if you guys are super curious it'll be down there also i'm using basically the same products i used in my first elf video so if you also i think i talked a little bit about it there and since i had just purchased a lot of them the names are a little bit more clearer back then but i will look up everything and put it in the description box so don't worry this first product is one of the first ones that i had to look up and this is from their beautifully bare line and this is the beautifully bare luminous matte makeup primer Luminous Matte. Luminous Matte. Luminous Matte. Yeah, I don't know what they're going for here, but I will say it does separate really easily. When I first, like, put this out this morning on my hand, I had to, like, squeeze and, like, mix up the tube because it was super separated. So let's prime. I have nothing else on my face right now other than my morning skincare routine. So I will say it does feel really nice on the skin. It definitely looks glowy. I don't know what they're exactly trying to go for with Luminous Matte, but I digress. <laughs> Alright, so on to foundation. I am going to be using the Acne Fighting Foundation because that's really the only foundation from e.l.f. that has worked <laughs> at all for me. I've tried out um, their other foundation, the kind that comes like in their glass bottle. That really didn't work well for me. Um, so I'm going to use the Acne Fighting Foundation. I actually picked up a product from e.l.f. This is still fairly new. This is called the Make Me Matte like Mixing Medium. And you're supposed to mix it in with any foundation to make the foundation matte. I really think this is going to be super helpful like in the summer. So I don't know if I want to use it today. Uh, I really do want to try this in like a video on its own as we get closer to summer. So I think I'm gonna hold off on this Make Me Matte Mix-In Medium. I think they were trying to base it off of that, uh, was it Urban Decay that had a loose powder that you could also mix into foundation? I think so. So, I mean, if this is light enough for you, maybe you could use it as an under eye powder. I didn't wanna try it because I don't like doing anything too matte under my eyes because my under eyes are the driest part of my face. But I think you're sh you should be able to multitask it that way. 
You know what? Who knows? I could be making all of this up. So I'm going to be using the Acne Fighting Foundation. I'm going to get the shade Porcelain. And I know their shade range on this is not great. Like, honestly, the shade range is pretty garbage. So I'm going to put a little bit onto my palette. And I'm 99% sure I'm going to have to lighten this. So let's just take a quick look at what the shade looks like. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. I don't have any, like, lighting medium from e.l.f. So I'm going to use my L.A. Girl white foundation. This is literally my go-to whenever I need to lighten a foundation. That's a lot better. Okay. So I'm going to pull my hair back a little bit. And let's go to town. So this is actually sitting really nicely on my skin. I love the way that it looks, particularly like on my cheeks and on my forehead. It looks really nice. So we're gonna leave that alone and jump right into concealer. So I have this stick concealer by the packaging. It looks like it's from their Beautifully Bare collection. And this one actually has a name on it. Whoa, this is called the Lightweight Concealer Stick. So I'm gonna use this just under my eyes. So it's actually a pretty nice shade for under my eyes, and I like the way that it's sitting for now. <laughs> to set that, I'm using their under eye setting powder. Again, I have no idea what it's called or what shade this is, but I'll have it down below. And I, I gotta say, I don't like the tiny packaging on this. This is so tiny and they fill it up to the brim with product. I would have rather liked if they had just made it just like a little bit bigger so I can use it a little bit better. Tap out those creases. Ooh, and it looks like this powder is going to be too dark. Oh, wow. We will lighten it up with uh, a face powder later. Oh, that's really dark. Okay. So let's quickly go in and set the rest of my face. I'm using their Prime and Stay Finishing Powder in the shade Translucent Fair Light. So let's see. I'm going to start this under the eyes because I don't want this to set too dark and look a little bit nuts. Okay, so even with the lighter powder, I can see, like, how dark the under eyes are. So that that powder, I believe, was the lightest under eye setting powder, and it was just dark on me. So, uh, unfortunately, that's a bit of a dud. Uh, but hopefully it's not too noticeable. This is why I test things out when I work from home, because if anything, like, if I have an actual disaster, I whenever I have a conference call, I can just turn off my webcam. <laughs> So from here, I'll do the rest of my face. So I do have the Glow Up Face Palette. I picked this up at Target, I think it was, and it was $7 on an end cap. So it has just a whole bunch of shades in here. I really liked the fact that it looks like it had a nice bronzer shade, a nice contour shade, and I saw a peach kind of blush, even though it is a bit like sparkly, glittery. It was peach, and I do love me some nice peach blushes so let's use this palette and I think I'm gonna go in with these two shades right here for bronzer and for contour oh that was darker than I thought it was gonna be So I feel like the contour didn't really blend out the way that I wanted it to. Uh, so let's just go into blush. So I'm gonna take like this light shimmery kind of peach shade as my blush. Let's dig in. So it's not really showing up at all. <laughs> I'm gonna try a different brush. What one should I use? Maybe this one. Let's see. Okay, come on, just get onto the brush. Get onto the brush. Yeah. That's basically a highlighter. It's not showing up really at all as a blush. 
All right, so just to add a little bit of color, I'm gonna go in with this pink, just a, a tiny dab of it, if it shows up on the cheeks. At least I can see that a little bit. Yeah, okay. Okay, we got some color. And by some, I mean color and a shit ton of highlight because Jesus, what am I do a fiber brush? That looks a little bit better, but I'm kind of afraid to go in with a highlight since I'm already glowing so much from that blush that wasn't really a blush. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna I'm gonna skip the highlight. I'm just gonna add a little bit of this white shade like to my upper lip. And maybe a little bit to my nose. Before I move on to the rest of my face, I'm just going to go ahead and set all of this because despite the fact that I have a lot of glowy products on, I am looking a bit dry and I do like to set all my face products before I go into my eyes. So I'm taking the Makeup Mist and Set. It's a very harsh sprayer. I will say most of my face does look a lot better, though it definitely did darken right around here where I had that dark setting powder. And I don't know if it's just the formula or the fact that the sprayer concentrates a lot more liquid onto your face, but this feels like it takes a lot longer to dry than the rest of my setting sprays. So let's go on to brows. I actually have a like black liquid liner here. And I don't like the brush, so I didn't really want to use it as like a liner liner because I felt like it was too thick. And then I also have the like brow gel with the itty bitty spoolie to try out. And this is in the shade Dark. I really hate the spoolie. I gotta say, I really actually liked the formula of this brow gel in clear, which is why I picked up this one in dark. But I hate these spoolies. Like, do you see this? How am I supposed to get enough product onto these brows. <sighs> God, it took me like five minutes to do one brow and that's the difference. Well, I like the way that this brow sets throughout the day. I, I hate the spoolie and I can't really depot this and do anything with it. God. Ugh. Okay, so I finished my other brow and I primed my eyes. I used their eyeshadow primer and it's very clear, like thin formula. I'm not sure how I really feel about it. But then I set that primer using the lightest shade in this e.l.f. new classics palette, the shade right here, which is called Cream. And this is actually the palette that I purchased at the e.l.f. store where it came like broken and I was able to super glue it back together. Yay. <laughs> So I'm going to use this palette today along with the palette that I got for free with my last e.l.f. online order. This is the Baked Eyeshadow Palette, and it's just some baked shadows. I figured I could use one of these all over the lid because I've been testing out this palette, and I'm not actually the biggest fan of the shimmers in this palette. They're kind of meh. So I think I'm going to use the mattes from this palette and then go in with the shimmer from this Baked Palette. So let's see. So I'm going to take the shade Truffle up here, just kind of like a light brown I'm gonna try another brush just because that's not really blending out the way that I would like it to okay uh, I'm gonna take the next shade darker which is darling right here Okay, that one's a little bit better. I gotta say, since I've been trying this out, I've tried it out a few times, I haven't really been impressed. What I really like are those 10 pan palettes that e.l.f. comes out with in their Mad for Matte packaging. I really like all of those palettes except for the first Mad for Matte palette. So if you're looking for eyeshadow palettes from e.l.f., I would really recommend going to those because uh, this hasn't really been impressing me. For my lid, I think I'm going to take this middle shimmer shade from the Baked palette, and I don't know if it's best to apply this with a brush or with a finger, because honestly, when I like swatch it, not a whole lot comes off, and it looks a little bit chalky. 
So I'm going to use, again, a little bit of a cheat from NYX. I need to use my glitter glue because otherwise I don't think this would stand a chance. Oh yeah, you need a finger to make this work because I tried putting this on with just the brush and it looked like meh. And I applied it with my finger and it looked a lot better. So if you're going for their baked shadows, keep that in mind. Okay, so you can make the shadows work, but in these two particular formulas slash packaging, I'm not really that impressed. I really do prefer their 10 pan palettes in like their smaller black packaging 10 times better. They're honestly fantastic palettes that stand up against my higher end palettes. And I don't think these live up to that as much. So I swore I had an elf mascara. I don't think I do. I think I have wet and wild. Yeah, it's wet and wild. Oh, okay. So I'm going to use what I used in my brows. We're going to multitask and see how that works. You know what? That didn't work half bad. All right. And the finishing touch for this look, I'm just going to use a lipstick. This is their again. Oh, the name's on the side. This is their Beautifully Bare Satin Lipstick in the shade Touch of Nude. Now, they used to have a nude lipstick in their black packaging that I loved. It was moisturizing, it was comfortable, but I searched high and low and I cannot find that lipstick again. Like, I don't know if they discontinued it or if it no longer exists, but this is the closest thing I could find to it. So, let's see. So, it is just as comfortable. As that other one and I do like the color so all right and here is our redone full face of elf I gotta say elf is a brand that does confuse me because they've got some amazing products and then they've got some horrible things like it's such a hit or miss brand what I think their highlights are, are their bullet lipsticks. I think they have amazing bullet lipsticks for the price. I would stay away from their liquid lipsticks. I tried them out and they were so drying and they cracked and they don't look good. And, uh, ooh, mm, no. Bullet lipsticks, their moisturizing lipsticks, stay away from their liquid lipsticks. I also really like like their individually packaged like blushes and highlighters. I wasn't a huge fan of like this face palette just because they only made one of these so this is supposed to f work for everyone right off the bat and I don't think they really picked their shades well. Also I don't know why this is so highlighty and it, it, uh, no. So while I can get it to work for a full face, I, I don't think this was a well thought out like face palette, but they're individually packaged, like blushes are really good. And their highlights, like even their dollar highlights, those are all really good. And they come in more shades than like this one little face palette does. Moving on to their base products. This is the only foundation that I found that works for me from e.l.f. And it's not the best, but it can get me through a day. We'll put it there. I've tried out some of their other foundations and they just meh and their shade ranges really aren't great. So e.l.f. is really hit or miss and I don't think they're doing great as a brand because they did just close all of their in like actual stores. They had a couple of stores and malls nearby me and I really liked going into the stores to like swatch things and try things out and they just suddenly closed all of their stores. So I don't think they're doing that great and I really think it's because their quality is so disparate between products like some products are great and some are just like worse than kids makeup i do have an older video about like my favorite like top four and bottom four products from elf so i'll throw it up in the cards if you guys want to see that video but really this just really made me realize how much of a range elf has um and really helped me focus in on the products that i actually like namely those 10 pan eyeshadow palettes and their lipsticks. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. At least it ended a little bit better than my last attempt at a full face of e.l.f. Let me know what you guys think of e.l.f. down below and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.